many customers we work with ask the question, can AI billing or progressive billing be done in Sage Intech? And the answer is yes. AI billing or progressive billing, as it's otherwise known, can be done right in Sage Intact. First, what we're going to do today is look at those contracts for any type of AIA type contract. On the contract setup inside of Intact, you'll see up here at the top some header information. But as you scroll down in the summary section, you'll see information like the original price of the contract, revisions, change orders, and so on. On the bottom of the contract, you'll see the schedule of values. Now, this schedule of values inside of Intact can be as many different lines as you want, totally up to you. And the line descriptions can be whatever you want. Furthermore, an individual line can be its own project or its own job, or many lines can map to the same job. Again, totally up to you. This gives us the ability to split up the costing and job information by contract line if we chose to do that. Each of these scheduled value lines has a revised price here that we can see, as well as a retainage amount set up. Within each of these lines, I can click on an individual line and set up a lot of different fields, a lot of different information on the lines itself, as well as other information. And here, the additional information section can record things like the scope of the schedule line, as well as what's included, what's excluded, and the dates associated with that line. Now, it's an optional section you can choose to keep or leave out. On the bottom, we'll see the different breakdowns of the dollar amounts for that schedule line, as well as any change orders that have affected that line. Once that contract has been established, we can go ahead and build that contract out. So to do so, I'll come to here, generate invoices window. And once I'm in my generate invoices window, I'll specify the contract that I want to bill out. And here I'll indicate the date that I want to go through and click on preview. Okay. So on the invoicing preview, I can see the last time I sent an invoice on this contract and it was number eight. So continuing sequentially, this one will be number nine. Also, right from this window, I can see summary information on the contract, as well as change orders that have been processed. Okay, but down here on our job contracts line, we can see the heart of the billing process. We see each contract line item there, and as we scroll to the right, we can see the original prices, any revisions, as well as any change orders and their revised totals. Furthermore, we can see how much was previously billed, both by dollar amount and by percentage, as well as the amount retained on each of these line items. Now, as we click on, say, like an individual line here, I can see previously uh, what was billed on here was 23%. So if I keep this at 23%, it's not going to bill anything extra on that contract line. However, if I say today we are at 30%, of that line, it will indicate and calculate the additional 7% that needs to be billed on that line. I can either do that by percentage or by dollar amount. Again, up to you. If I want to bill $2,000 on this line, uh, the system will then calculate what total percentage that brings us to. Now, continuing to the right on my schedule values, I can see a place to enter uh, stored materials. I can also enter any retainage that I want to release on this invoice process, as well as the retainage to withhold from this line on the invoice. Once I'm happy with my selection and I'm ready to create that invoice, I can click up here on create invoice. The system then tells me it created the invoice. It's number 118 and I can go take a look at that invoice. And here we are. Here's my invoice 118 and I'll click on view to view the details. Okay. Now, when you create the invoices, you have the option to create them as draft transactions that somebody will review, or they can be created as posted transactions that are just ready to send to the customer immediately. 
as I scroll down through this invoice, um, there's going to be a few things I'll point out. Uh, first is uh, the billing summary here is going to indicate uh, at the time of invoicing, like what was the status of this contract? What was the original contract amount plus any changes? So you have that there. And it also gives you a revised contract total. The total completed to date for the contract, as well as the retainage information, um, previous billings, and the current amount due and the current amount to finish. So you have a lot of information there. I can also see those details by contract line as well, which is super helpful. Uh, so in my entries, I'll see all the lines on my schedule of values. And even though I'm only billing two lines on the specific invoice, I'll see like the extended price and the retainage amount. So you get a little extra visibility. Now, if I wanted to see more detail on say an individual line, I can click on that line and say, show details here. So let's do that. Uh, by scrolling down the details, I'll get the details on that specific line item. Uh, how much is completed to the date as well as what's remaining. Now, all of this information uh, can be pulled out onto the invoice and the invoices inside of Intac are simply Microsoft Word templates that you can manipulate and drag fields onto as well as edit any of the fields that are on there to fill out the information that you want. And we're going to take a look at this so you can see what the templates look like. Okay, so as I indicated, this is just a Microsoft Word form. Uh, because of this, any of the fields can be edited in Word. If say I wanted to change the terms and conditions, um, then I can do that. I can drag any of the fields from the invoice onto the document uh, wherever I want them to be. Again, because it's a Microsoft Word template, you have a lot of flexibility. As I scroll down here on the page, uh, we're on page two here, we can see that the second page of the form and this mimics uh, G702 and G703. So we can get all the fields that we want from that document style here. Uh, and, and these invoices can be either printed or emailed out directly, depending on if I have the customer's email address for the customer. Uh, scrolling to the top of the window, I can see any attachments and any source documents on here, as well as the history of this transaction, when it was created and when it was sent out. It is really awesome what we're able to do with the AIA of progressive invoicing inside of Sage Intact. Uh, if you have any questions or would like more info on this or other aspects of Sage Intact, please feel free to reach out and we'll see you in the next video.